I love your bit much. Happy Friday, everyone. It's been a lovely Friday afternoon. Um, the kids will be with their daddy over the weekend. I love your bit much. I uploaded a brand new vlog and I spent a morning and afternoon practicing for the course. So my course, the first course starts February. I just want to be prepared and get a base knowledge and I've just been enjoying it so much guys. I just wake up and I feel so alive. There's a lot of artistic elements in this course and I'm learning so much already. I'm just so excited to perfect whatever knowledge that I'm learning right now. I actually had to buy, like it's not necessary, but I went to buy like a like a top that you wear for training. I was so excited because I never really had to wear a uniform for work. I mean, it's great for YouTube that I can just work in my pajamas. I just got really excited wearing like a type of uniform and there's so many elements of YouTube that I'm so thankful for. The community I've met online, um, but I'm just really looking forward to also meeting people on an everyday basis. It's been a lovely week chilling with Isaac and Ayla and I really look forward to spending the rest of the day doing research, um, practicing and hopefully reading some books. One of the books I started reading and it's called The Kick-Ass Single Mom and I bought this a couple years ago but it wasn't until last week I started to read it. Now I'm only up to here so I still got quite a bit to go. Sorry, I'm just using it as a camera stand for now. Before, I thought, you know, I've got children, but I'm no longer married. And I thought that was a definition of single mom, but apparently, you know, that term also upset a lot of moms. I mean, like, there's a lot of overlap, but I could be wrong, so correct me in this. Actual single mom is a mother that doesn't get any support at all from the father. So, you know, technically, Isaac and Ayla still see their dad. I always knew I was a co-parent, but I also thought I was co-parent slash single mom. But it's actually not that, right? There are some arguments um, on what really defines as a single mom. I actually don't know. I feel like there is some stigma. When I became single mom or co-parent, um, I believed the limiting beliefs. People think, you know, someone that's left behind, someone that's desperate or struggling. Of course, it depends on the circumstance and the situation. I think there's also a lot of strength and power. I know for me, I want this to be an empowering situation. You're still interesting. Um, you can still achieve. A lot of entrepreneurs are actually moms, you know. I also made me think a lot about success and I think it's hard because we live in this hustle culture, right? And I think hustle culture made me believe that I need to parent my kids as if I don't have a job. But at the same time, I also needed to work as if I don't have kids. That's why when I had kids, I didn't know how to cross the both of them together. I'm really thankful for the past two years. It really did teach me how I was living really wasn't healthy. At least for my mental state, it wasn't that healthy. What is success to you? Success to some is owning like lots of multi-million companies and then success could also be going to your job, doing your thing, coming home and spending time with your kids. And I thought about what success is to me and it's just me being able to spend time with my loved ones. You know, if I can just keep being the mom that I am to my kids while having something in the side, doing something that I love, connecting with women, empowering women like this is success to me. This is happiness to me. Here for us to get from A to B to where we want to be, it's not just, you know, what you want. It's whatever you believe and what you accept about yourself. And I thought about like how I show up as a mother, how I show up as a girlfriend, how I show up as a sister. And I was very happy about that. And I also thought about how do I show up for myself. I probably don't advocate for her as much as I do in other areas of my life. But then I also had limiting beliefs. The fact that my kids are so young and my weekdays are with them. How much time really could I have to do something on the side without taking time away from them, right? I did have anger. Um, I felt a lot of unjust 
with how things came to be. Then I realized if there's things that's out of my control, but let's not focus on other people. Let's just focus on me. What can I do about my life? And by focusing on that, I started to gain back my power. Not that I have full control of everything because we don't, but you know, the things that we can't control focus on that. So I came to the conclusion that until Ayla starts school, which is like a good 9-10 months away, I have all this time to study. So when the kids are in school, after I walk the dogs, I got a full hour to research. I can still research when I go to bed. I can wake up a little bit earlier and do practicing and research in the morning. Um, and when they go to their daddy, of course I still need time for me to spend time with my loved ones, my family. But there's also space, like right now, for me to read. These days, I listen to a lot of podcasts. When I'm out driving, I'm on the road a lot, so I might as well listen, right? And I always feel like there's always so much that we could learn. There's always room for improvement. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm just super pumped. Like what I love the most about life is that we're able to learn. It doesn't matter how old you are. There is always something to learn, but you just need to like open up yourself to it, right? Life is what you accept about yourself. If you've accepted yourself that, no, I don't want to do that, or I'm not going to be good at that, you've completely kept the door closed. If you don't know what you want to do, that's okay. No one knows. Even if you have a plan, life just unfolds in its own little ways. But dabble. You'd be so surprised what you would end up learning about yourself, even if you don't get into it. Sometimes I look back and I'm like, did I peak already? Maybe in some areas of my life, depending what it is, maybe I did peak then, but then you think back, was I happy then? If you were to compare, you'll realize that, okay, I'm not the same person as before. I have different priorities now. And it's not healthy to get stuck at a point in your life. And, you know, life is about change, right? The only thing that's constant in life really is change. You can say screw you to society's terms. You can live life on your own terms. Like we all have our own different journeys and our priorities are all different to everyone. I think instead, you know, if we can celebrate the change, go about with it and just let things fold in our own way and just as long as you continue to show up every single day for it. I realized I forgot to make lunch. So I got hungry and made myself a pot noodle. Is it fitting that it says, use your noodle? Save time and chase your dreams. You can make it. Also just wanna say, there are seasons in everyone's life. There have been seasons in my life where I didn't know what was going on. And then there have been seasons where I thought, oh, this is great, chase your dreams, dream big, yeah. And there were also seasons where all I could really do is just breathe, wake up and breathe. And I needed that winter. I needed that time to hibernate, to restart, to recalibrate. And there were seasons where I felt lost again. And then seasons where I like, oh, maybe I can try this where I had hope. Um, those seasons, each and every season is important and needed. If today the only thing you could do was get out of bed, that's a huge deal. If the only thing that you could do today was brush your teeth, that's a huge deal. Well done for showing up. All you need to do is show up every single day. Please rest, rest your heart and soul. Life can be very hard. Some days really, really hard, but you need to have hope that better days are coming and you will not always feel this way. You've gone through a lot in life and you're still standing here. In this moment in time, it's okay not to be okay. It's okay not to know. It wouldn't be great if you knew how everything in life would be, everything sought out for you, but life is about learning. As long as you show up every day, being optimistic isn't sticking a band-aid on everything and saying everything is okay. It's acknowledging that there are bad times, but having that hope that better days will come. I just wanted to catch up with you all and just share what's in my thoughts. I'm curious. You know, that's a nice thing about my vlogs. A lot of my vlogs I cannot watch anymore because it's just too sad, but I want to be able to, at least I want to watch this part of my life where I see myself like rebuilding. I'm quite curious. For all you know, I will thrive and rise or I may crash and burn again, but I know I'll always get back up. So, um, you know, 
I've yet to find out about myself and you have yet to find out about yourself and I believe that you'll be okay.